Hi there Yarn Jugglers, today I'm going to show you how to use the toe up cast on method for uh, socks. Uh, there are many many sock patterns out there that work from the toe up. I've got a selection and there are some others from my um, designer colleagues out there and um, what I'll do is I'll put links in the description below to, um, to my favourite patterns. This is my favourite method of making a sock because you work from the toe up. It means that you can actually try it on, you can check that the sizing is correct, you can check that um, the length is correct before you start working on the heel, which just means this is a nice, simple way of working. I also like the fact that it works just as well with double pointed needles as it does with one giant loop. Now personally I prefer to work with the double pointed needles, I don't like the faff of pulling all that excess cable through from your cable needles. Um, however, that's personal preference and you can work this method just as easily using the um, using the, the large cable needles if that is your preference. However, this tutorial will show you how to use the double pointed needles. So what you'll need is a set of double pointed needles to match your yarn and go grab those and I'll see you in a minute. So what we're going to do is drape this over the top needle and we're going to have our tail over the front of the working needle. However, we're then going to push that to the back as we separate out the yarn and we will have the working yarn at the front which comes over my thumb and we've got the tail at the back which is going over my finger and the finger yarn will be working around the bottom needle and the thumb yarn will be working around the top and basically we are creating a figure eight so we're twisting looping over twisting looping over and we're going through the center so our top finger comes over and brings the yarn through we twist back the thumb brings the yarn through the center we twist back top finger brings the yarn through the center twist over, twist, under, twist, over, twist, under, so that we are creating this uh, figure eight pattern for as many stitches as we need. So now that we've got our needles loaded, uh, we've wrapped uh, our loose thread around and we are now going to go back in and knit on the top needle which was our bottom. So we've we've turned from this orientation to this orientation. We've picked up our third double pointed needle and we're now going to uh, to knit into this now top row. Hopefully there is going to be enough room for you to place your uh, needle in between the other two purely because this makes it easier for you to then work those stitches. Um, be very careful not to let anything fall off this bottom row and we're just going to knit into the top row with our working yarn and we're going to knit all the way along and we really really do not want the, the stitches falling off the bottom or else we have to start all over again so let's just see if we can get this in shot for you this is quite cat handed the first row that we do after that everything becomes so much easier it's just because everything is so close to each other and the stitches, if you've done them too tight, will be uh, very nasty to, uh, to try and knit through. So here we have our top row completely knitted across. Keep that securely in the centre and now you can start to see where we've got this, this continuous knitting. Now, this first row will be done in the correct um, orientation. However, this second row if we now turn around, these will be loaded the wrong way round onto our needle. So what we will need to do, keeping the tail out of the way, is um, knit into the back of the stitch. So we're not going to knit at the front, we're going to knit into the back. So quite literally, just a regular knit stitch, but into the back of that. And already you can see that it is much easier to work this knitting now that we've moved on from that very, very initial row. We only need to knit into the back of the stitch for this second row. After that, everything else will be knitted as per normal 
with a uh, with a standard knit. And here you can see, hopefully, we have our perfectly joined toe centre. And from this point on, we will just increase according to our pattern. And hopefully, that has helped you with the uh, the toe up cast on to knit socks. If it has, please give the video a thumbs up, share it around with your friends, sharing is caring, and uh, if you want to see more of these videos, then please subscribe to the channel. Uh, there are all sorts of tutorials for knitting, crochet and sewing, and this is the first in a series of tutorials around socks. So hopefully that will prove interesting to you in the future, and I might get to see you again. Speak to you soon. Bye for now.